Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Unity tutorial. Today we'll have a look at how to create emissive materials. Before we get started, let's have a look at the finished result. Ok, let's get started. Ok, so I have an empty scene view here. Let's create a plane. Let's go to the scene view first. Ok, we'll need a directional light maybe. So we can see something in here. Also, let's have a look at the ambient color. Let's make it a little bit lighter. And maybe use the skybox material, the default skybox material. Cool. No, I wanted the directional light outside of the plane. There we go. Um, let's make the plane a little bigger and let's create a material for it go to create material floor okay so for the floor we'll need a texture i have one ready here there we go let's put it in textures and now let's apply it to the material and let's use and drag the material onto the plane. This is just so we have a space to work with. Maybe let's make some tiles here. Also, we need to tell the image that it's a texture. So we'll say default here texture shape 2d and say apply oh we also have to set it to repeat here there we go so now we have like a floor we can use and i've also prepared here in maya a barrel just a simple geometric form let's import this into unity by saying send to unity selection okay let's go to the unity project okay so we're in, we're in the unity project let's make a folder here let's call it models and save it inside let's call it steel barrel make sure we don't have animations selected because we don't have any animations on this one Press export. There we go. Let's drag this into the scene and maybe make it a little bit bigger. Now we need a texture for this. So I've also created the UV maps. If I go to UV editor, this is the UV map of this barrel. So I've opened that in Photoshop, as you can see here. And I've made a texture for it, which looks basically like this. We need to save this. Uh, without the UV lines. Okay, save as. Let's. We should. We're already in textures, so let's call it steel barrel texture. There we go. 
and now for the emissive material if we want for example to make only the radiation sign glowing we have to create like a emission mask so we'll make everything black except what we want to be glowing so let's put the black background and leave only the radiation signs and let's save this and let's call this steel barrel emission there we go now if we go back to unity let's first of all let's go to the model and to the materials tab and extract the material in here it's fine with the model so we can edit it there we go now if we go to albedo let's select the texture and also let's make the albedo color white so it doesn't influence it at all there we go we already have the the there we go the barrel is already looking pretty fine now let's go here and select emission and under color let's select steel barrel emission okay and now you can see that this is glowing a little bit so even if we would be like to hide the directional light you could still see that glowing okay next maybe we want to increase the the emissions a little bit let's put it to two and put the global illumination to real time Let's also set the camera for the game view by finding a position that we like and then selecting the camera and pressing Ctrl Shift F. And of course the camera has to be on perspective view, not on orthographic view. There we go. So now I think I like this better. So now we can see it like this. Next step, if you want to make it look even better, we can go to the Asset Store and search for Post Processing Stack and import it into our project. Press Import. Now, if we go to the Assets folder here, let's let's first go back to the game view yeah if we go to the project here uh, in the base of the assets let's create a post processing profile uh, there it is and if we go to main camera and add a component we can add the post processing behavior component and let's drag the profile in here now if we select the the new post processing profile we created and now if we press blue we can make the material glow even better but first of all let's reduce a little bit the threshold here and maybe increase the intensity a little bit and let's decrease the radius and there we go we made this look a little bit like um, it's glowing you can also apply other different effects from from the post processing stack here like for example but that's a lesson for another day 
So thank you very much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a like or a share. If you would like to see more content like this, please subscribe. And if you have the possibility, please consider supporting me on Patreon from just a dollar a month. See you next time.